Hey guys, this video is going to be about setting up an SMB share in Freenas Corral and connecting to that share from Cody. Okay, so before we create our share, I'm going to want to create an account to connect to that share with so we don't have to use the root account. I'm going to fill all of that in, create a password, and hit save. Next, we're going to go up to storage. Go ahead and click no on that. Um, go to the storage we want to create our share on, click shares, click the plus sign, and click new SMB share. We're going to give the share a name. If you want to allow just anybody to connect to that, you can do guests allowed. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, you can also do what networks are allowed to connect to that. So I guess we'll go ahead and add that. I'm just going to add my entire home network. If you want to add a, a network that you don't want to allow to connect, like maybe your wireless network or something like that, you could do that as well. We're going to go down to permissions. We're going to change our owner to SMB user. Hit select. Then we're going to come down and hit save. Okay, so I'm on a Mac. This would be a little bit different on Windows. I'm going to come down here and open a new fi finder window. Um, on Windows, you would uh, just hit backslash backslash into your address bar and then the IP address of your free NAS uh, to connect. Um, on Mac, there's a couple different options. Uh, it may just show up on here, and we can connect that way. But there's also the option, if you come down here and right-click on your Finder icon, there's the Connect to Server option. And from there, you can add addresses in by typing them in and hit the plus sign to keep them in your favorites down here. And once they're in your favorites, you can just double-click on one if you want to connect to it. And I already had a, a, a SMB share on there, but here's the one we just created, SMB share. Um, I'm going to hit cancel on that because I'm going to go ahead and connect right here through where FreeNAS showed up automatically um, via, uh, I forgot what that's called, but we'll look at that later. Um, I'm just going to double click on SMB share and oh, it's going to error out on me because we didn't give any credentials. So what I'm going to do is come down here, click on FreeNAS again and see here where it says connect it as guest right here. I'm going to click connect as, type in our username and password. and hit connect. And now I'm going to double click on our SMB share again. And I'm in that folder. Looks like we have permissions um, because when I right click I see a new folder. It wouldn't say that if I didn't have permissions to create a folder in there. I'm going to go ahead and copy a video into that folder. A video of myself skateboarding. So. <laughs> Um, it's taking a second to copy for some reason. I don't know why that is, but whatever. Okay. So next up, connecting to it from Cody. Actually, just one more thing before we jump over to Cody. Um, you'll see there's this enable SMB service checkbox check by default, and that's what enables the Samba service uh, in general on the system. So if we go over here to services, um, you can also enable that directly in the service right right here and um, when browsing for uh, our free NAS and things like that via SMB um, you'll see under Windows workgroup whatever you named this right here if you stuck with workgroup then it's going to be under workgroup um, and also there's a few things you can customize in here of course right or you can uh, choose if you have multiple IP addresses on your free NAS you could lock it down to one of those um, for SMB responses on here things like that so now I guess we'll jump over to Cody. Okay guys, so we're over here on the Shield TV now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch Cody. 
And I'm going to go down here to videos, um, setting up movies, TV shows, music, whatever, um, for SMB shares is all pretty much the exact same process. So videos is a bit more general. Um, I'm going to go to files and I'm going to, these are all things that I've already add, edit, add videos. And there are a couple different ways we can do this. Uh, I can click the browse button and we can either go to add network location in case the way I'm about to show you doesn't work and put these all in manually or we can go to Windows Network SMB and it will try to find the work groups in your network. Sometimes that works, uh, usually it works, sometimes it doesn't work so well. So I'm going to click on my FreeNAS, my host name on my FreeNAS is just FreeNAS, I left it default. And we're going to go to the share we created and enter our username and password that we created. And I'm going to turn this on so it remembers that username and password for that share. And we can hit OK again. Go all the way down. If you want to change the name to something other than what we named it on the FreeNAS, you could. I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Um, this is for uh, scanning uh, the library. Like if you had TV shows in this folder, you would select this directory contains TV shows. If you had movies, you would select this directory contains movies, and it would scan the folder period, like based on your settings on startup or uh, periodically or just whenever you tell it to update the library. I'm going to tell it not to scan this because uh, I'm just throwing a random video in this folder. Go ahead and hit OK. And when it does those scans, it would add those to your... Uh, I'm going to click Yes on this. It would add those uh, items to your library for showing up on the home screen and quick finding things and would pull the attributes for that stuff from IMDB, thumbnails, things like that. Okay, now that that share was added, we're going to go ahead and connect to that. And then click on the video that was in that folder that we added. And that looks like it's working. That's about all there is to it. So that completes our tutorial for setting up SMB shares on FreeNAS. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.